Hello and welcome to today's cruise news on April 1st, 2020. Carnival's credit rating from Moody's has been downgraded, with Carnival's 3 billion bond sales starting today, hoping to find buyers has proven a bit of a challenge with Carnival having to offer short-term bonds at a whopping 12.5 to 13% interest rate, well below what their current established credit rating would have implied. Carnival estimates a majority of their fleet will be in a prolonged ship layup going forward to reduce the monthly cost to approximately $1 million per month in overhead for maintenance per ship. This does not include any other expenses such as loans, interest payments, personnel, property, etc. Hall in America, still looking for a port to accept the Zandam and Rotterdam ships. Florida's Port Everglade is awaiting a formal proposal from Hall in America before voting on it this week. Hall in America's president, Orlando Ashford, posted a blog on Hall in America's site asking for a public assistance. However, Florida Governor Ronald DeSantis has already stated he does not want the ships in Florida and will escalate to the White House if necessary. Hopefully, a mutually agreed plan can be agreed to get these guests much-needed assistance. Viking announces they will be offering river cruises on the Mississippi River starting in August 2022. The purpose-built ships are currently under construction in Louisiana. MSC has announced they are extending your Voyager Club status until December 31st, 2021. If you currently had a status that was set to expire in 2020, they have now extended your expiration date until 2021, as obviously you may have had the best intentions of traveling this year and you're not able to do so. If you'd like more of these daily cruise headlines, please hit that like button to show your support. For our quiz question of the day, what Disney character can be seen hanging over the back of the Disney Magic? Leave your answer in the comments below.